हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द सब टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर द ओरिजिन एंड इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द अर्थ चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ जोग्राफी एंड द सब टॉपिक्स दैट वी विल डिस्कस आर द स्टार फॉर्मेशन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्लैनेट्स आवर सोलर सिस्टम एंड द मून सो स्टार्स एज बी नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट बिग बैंग थ्योरी विच इज़ द अल्टीमेट लेड टू द क्रिएशन ऑफ आवर यूनिवर्स यूनिवर्स इज कंपोज ऑफ वेरियस गैलेक्सीज एंड ए गैलेक्सी कंटेन्स ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ स्टार मैनी नंबर ऑफ स्टार्स ओके नाउ वॉट एपन as the galaxies are formed the hydrogen gas they form large clouds and these clouds are known as nebula nebula is a gaseous cloud over the time as this cloud develop a localized clump of gas clump a group a gas comes together there is greater attraction as the clumps grow denser and larger this led to the formation of star okay so we will learn about star formation and their formation of planet now what this led to the formation of star is galaxy as we i told that it is accumulation of hydrogen hydrogen in a cloud called nebula and what this nebula later on there is you can see there are small lumps of gases that are found in various parts of the nebula now these clumps converted into denser bodies which today we see in the sky as star around 5 to 6 billion billion years ago these stars were formed now we will take up the formation of planet now gravitational force as the core is heavier it is more denser so around it a gas cloud or disk of gas and dust developed around the core and it started rotating as a disk okay now regard uh, around this core in the next stage cloud get start getting condensed and it led to the development of small rounded objects these small objects as they were formed by aggregation aggregation means coming together of various small bodies so it led to the formation of larger bodies due to gravitational attraction and these bodies were known as planetesimals okay so there were many planetesimals and due to gravitational attraction the material of planetesimal started sticking to each other means getting together with each other and in the last stage the large number of small planetesimals aggregated to form few large bodies and we can see them today in the form of planets now we will we can see glass Uh, gas cloud then we can see planet simul small objects finally they are coming together and uh, leading to the formation of planets okay now our solar system was formed around 5 to 5.6 billion years ago and planets were formed around about 4 to 6 billion years ago as we know that our solar system has eight planets and these planets have various satellites there are asteroids there are comets and there are dust and various gases which are found in our solar system okay as we know that earlier up to 2003 there was another pluto was considered as a planet but it is not a planet anymore so now we have only eight planet in those eight planets there are four inner planets and four outer planets okay there are inner planets 
we can see they are mercury venus earth and mars they are known as inner planets and next jupiter saturn uranus neptune are outer planet and between mars and jupiter there is a belt of asteroids asteroids are rocky material bodies rocky rock bodies dust particles and coming together and forming asteroids now as uh, they inner planets are also called terrestrial planet terrestrial planets because the solar wind was most intense near the sun and it could not it led to the formation of condensation of solid particles because it was too warm near the sun and ultimately the inner planets these four planets are rocky they are in solid form okay that's why they are not terrestrial means earth like they are having solid formation crust and all okay now what happened over the time the outer planet are also known as jovian planet jovian means jupiter like because most of them all of them are formed in gas gas are in gaseous state the inner planets are smaller in size and their gravity could not hold the gases like hydrogen and other dust particles they which were blown away by the solar winds to the outer planet okay outer planets are larger in size but inner planets is having higher density and uh, outer planets are having lower density as i earlier told inner planets are solid rocky state and outer planets are in gaseous state as inner planets are closer to the sun they are warm and outer planet are farther from the sun they are cold okay now the inner planets they were solid because solar winds to cover the most lighter material in, uh, to the outer planets were heavier material remain uh, in the inner planets that's why they are in rocky form okay so this is how planets are formed and inner planets and outer planet and differentiation between these two now we will learn about the moon as we know moon is the only natural satellite of the earth now there or is there were some attempt to explain how moon was formed and one of those was by sir george darwin in 1838 okay he told that initially earth and moon formed a single rapidly rotating body he said that the whole body as it was rotating became like a dumbbell bell as we can see in the gym dumbbell shape you can see in the on the screen also that uh, dumbbell shape one side moon and other side earth and uh, eventually the material forming moon separated from the earth and specifically from the pacific ocean and it led to the formation of moon but this theory is not accepted now okay present scientists have another explanation it is which is widely believed nowadays this is giant impact or big spalt theory as per this theory a large size body was passing by the earth and it collided with the earth and some portion from the earth got separated and ultimately this separated portion became the moon you can see separated body coming ni closer to the earth finally it is colliding with the earth and some parts of the earth got separated from the earth and started rotating around the earth and over the time they got all together and they formed the natural satellite of the earth which is moon moon was formed around 4.4 billion years ago so we discussed about the star formation formation of planets our solar system and about the moon it is essential to know about geography is concerned about earth but 
in physical geography uh, before studying in detail about the earth we should know about the origin of the universe then we are studying stars because our solar system is dependent on one of the star which is sun so we have studied all these to bring better clarity in the upcoming topics i hope it will help you in understanding the topic better so this is it for today's discussion Thank you.